Hi guys, it's Angie with Fun Endeavors Tie-Dye Lab. Today I'm going to make a heart spiral t-shirt. As usual, the shirt was washed and dried, soaked in a soda ash solution for 20 to 30 minutes. I wrung it out of my panda spin dryer so it's just barely damp. I also have the shirt turned inside out. I only want to put the heart on the front of the shirt, so I've isolated the front of the shirt. Then I folded the bottom hem of the shirt up to the top of the shirt to find where the middle of the shirt is. And using a washable marker, I placed a mark where the center of the shirt is. I found the center of the shirt because I'd like to put the heart above the center line. And so I'm going to find an area above that mark where I'd like the heart to be on the shirt. And using a washable marker and a stencil that I've made from some plastic cutting board, I'm going to draw half of the heart onto the shirt and then fan fold that line. Once the line is folded, I'm going to hold the folds in place with some sinew. The sinew that I use is an artificial sinew that's wax coated. Because of the wax coating, when I wrap the sinew tightly around this line and I pull it as tight as I can, it's going to form a waterproof barrier that won't allow the dye to get under that area. So this sinew line is going to cause a white line on the shirt. I have a link down below this video in the description for where I purchased the sinew. For a little added detail, I'm going to go ahead and add one more sinew line just outside of this one on the shirt. I'm going to tuck one sleeve inside of the other and then I'm going to adjust them to try to make them flat against the table. I want the shirt as flat as I can get it. Then grabbing the heart portion of the shirt, I'm going to begin to spiral the shirt. Forming some additional folds in the shirt as I go along. Then I'm going to hold the folds in place with some rubber bands. My folds weren't as tight as I wanted them to be, so I took the rubber bands off and readjusted the shirt a little bit. I'm going to ice dye this shirt, so I need to make myself a barrier to keep the ice on the shirt. To do that, I'm going to use some silicone cake molds, and I have a link down below this video in the description for where I purchased those as well. I also list links to several of the other items that I use when I tie dye, as well as the colors that I've used on this shirt. I'm also going to use a couple of wooden clothespins and attach them to the middle rack. This will hold the cake molds up a little closer to the shirt in a couple of areas. Next, I'm using a washable marker to divide the shirt into four sections. If you'll notice, the heart or the center of the spiral is off center. So that's where I'm going to begin all of my lines, is right in the center of the heart area. On the lines that I just drew, I'm going to apply black TDB from Custom Colors. I'm trying to avoid the center or the heart area with the black dye. 
I don't want a lot of black in the heart area, so I'm going to take the dye right up to that area, but not apply any in the center. In the four remaining sections, I'm going to place different shades of red. I'm starting with Burgundy from Dharma Trading Company. A helpful tip whenever you're dyeing a spiral shirt is right in the middle of the spiral where all of the colors meet. If you will go gently with your dye and not add a lot of dye to that area, your spiral will be a lot more distinct. If you add too much color into the center of the spiral, where all the colors mix, it becomes muddy and a little less discernible. On this shirt, I don't really have a spiral. I have the heart in that area. So I am going to apply some dye there, but very little. Because this shirt slopes inward, most of the dye that I'm applying in these other four sections will gently trickle into that area. Next, I'm applying Black Cherry from Dharma. Stock Red from Grateful Dyes. And in the last section, I'm going to add Spanish Carmine from Custom Colors. Now I'm going to add an additional sprinkle of soda ash to the shirt. I do this to make sure that when the ice melts and runs through the shirt, I still have plenty of soda ash remaining in the shirt to react with the dye. Then I'm going to add the ice to the top. After this first layer of ice melted, there was still quite a bit of dye remaining on top of the shirt, so I went ahead and added a second layer of ice. After the second layer of ice melted, I allowed the shirt to process for 24 hours before I began rinsing. To rinse the shirt, I took it to my utility sink and began rinsing in cold water to rinse out the soda ash. I gradually warmed the water up to hot to rinse out the excess dye that didn't bond with the shirt. After a while, I decided to soak the shirt to get out the excess dye. So I ran some hot water in my utility sink added a little bit of Blue Dawn dish detergent, and allowed the shirt to soak. After the water cooled, I changed it out and continued the soaking process until the water was almost clear. Then I put the shirt into my washing machine, along with a little bit of Dharma's textile detergent, and I washed it on a hot water cycle. And after the shirt was washed and dried, this is what it looks like. What do you guys think? I really like this shirt. I like red and black together, so I definitely like the color combination, and I like the color splits that came from the different red shades and from the black that I used. I think it was the stock red from Grateful Dyes that left that more orangey red on the shirt. It really kind of stands out right in the middle of the shirt, and that one line of the stock red up around the heart I think makes the heart look like it has a halo. I also like the fact that all of the different reds kind of mixed in the middle of the heart, which is what I was wanting to happen. I didn't want it to be solid with just one color red. So I can see all the different reds that I used on the shirt in the middle of the heart area. And I think that kind of gives it a cool effect. I also like the way the shirt looks being spiraled instead of being fan folded. Normally when I tie dye a heart shirt like this, I will just tie the heart and then fan fold the rest of the shirt. But I like the different effect that the spiral gave. It pretty much made stripes on the majority of the shirt, especially the back. And I think that's pretty cool. So overall, I really like the shirt. But why don't you drop me a comment down below and let me know what you think about it. And if you've enjoyed the video, I sure would appreciate it if you would like it and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you guys for watching and I hope you have a great day.